Paying people a living wage works. Here's the proof. Hello and welcome to another edition of Shine 365, where our job is to help you lead a better life. Today we'll review a story by CBS News on CEO Dan Price on why he gave all his employees a minimum salary of $70,000. It's still working six years later. Our turnover rate was cut in half. Yes, you heard that correctly. The CEO cut his multi-million dollar salary and gave all his employees at least a $70,000 a year income. It was six years ago when Dan Price raised the salary of everyone at his Seattle-based credit card processing company called Gravity Payments to at least $70,000 a year. Price slashed his own salary by $1 million to be able to give all of his employees a pay raise. He was hailed as a hero by some and met with predictions of bankruptcy from his critics. What happened and what hasn't happened? The company is thriving. Yes, the company is thriving. Let the naysayers take notice. The man who slashed his own pay to give others in his company a minimum salary of $70,000, the company's doing well, and they're not losing people to turnover. In these trying times, people are staying with the company. In fact, he says that he's doubled the number of employees. Dan says that his company has tripled, and he is still paying all of his employees $70,000 a year. How much do you make? Asked Carter Evans of CBS News. Price replied, I make $70,000 a year as well. To pay his own bills, Price downsized his life. He sold a second home that he owned, and he tapped into his savings. Some financial experts believe Price's decision was actually a big risk. It does go against what people expect and what we usually see in terms of corporations and companies. According to the Economic Policy Institute, the average salary of a CEO is 320 times more than the salary of their average worker. It's only going up. Now, the question is, does the CEO really need to be making that much money if the employees of the same company do not make enough to live? I once heard it said that if you were one of the top billionaires in the nation, you would be making over $1,000 every second. Let that sink into your head. You would be making over $1,000 every second. A CEO that's making this much per second would make more than the average salaried person in the United States. It didn't used to always be like this. CEOs were not making 320 times more than their average employees. In fact, in the 50s and 60s, they were probably making 10 times more. Here's a chart showing the difference between the CEO's salaries and the average worker's salaries. And you can see there is quite a difference. If the CEO takes less and gives more to employees, does that benefit the company or not? Let's take a look. Price said that despite the success with his company and his policy, he wishes other companies would follow suit. You know, I feel like I've been shouting from the rooftops, like, this works, this works, everybody should do it. And zero big companies are following suit because the system values having the highest return with the lowest risk and the lowest amount of work, Price said. Price thinks Gravity's returns are up in large part because bigger paychecks have led to fiercely loyal employees. That makes sense, right? If you're making more money, you're going to be more loyal to the company. If the company doesn't pay you enough to survive, if the company doesn't give you what you need to live your daily life and you have to work a second or third job or you can't even afford to live, you have to go into debt and you're working full time, your allegiance might not be as strong as if you're working for a company that not only believes in you, but pays you a living wage, a wage where you can live and have a house and have a car. These are things that are going away in the 2020s. We're heading backwards when it comes to employees and we need employees to say it's time for a change. Price says that 
our turnover rate was cut in half. So when you have employees staying twice as long, their knowledge of how to help our customers skyrocketed over time. And that's really what paid for the raise more than my pay cut, said Price. Here's the thing, if someone's been working for your company five to 10 years, chances are they know a lot about the company. And that's the way it used to be, but things are changing. Nowadays, people change companies all the time. And why do they do it? They do it to make more money. But if their own company is paying them enough so that they can pay their bills and live a decent life, then they will stay with that company. And all the knowledge that they've learned over the years will stay with them and help that company do better. Dan's employees, Chen and Franklin, just had a baby boy named Thomas. They said that Dan Price's policy made it possible for them to afford and begin a family. And if you look at the statistics of babies being born in the United States, you'll see that in a certain demographic, the birth rate has gone down drastically. And that's simply because people are not able to afford to have kids. If they're unable to save even $400 for an emergency, and they're unable to save for a future car so they can buy it in cash rather than credit, then some of them struggle with the cost of a child. Chen and Franklin said they're right on track for the American dream. They have a beautiful baby boy, a wonderful home, a beautiful life. We're not only living, we're able to thrive, Chen said. And baby Thomas is just one of the 60 new additions to the company family over the past six years. He also claims the number of employees buying homes has gone up as well. Dan Price wants to enable his employees to be able to have a home, to be able to have kids. And that, to many people, is the American dream. And now, unfortunately, a lot of people can't afford to buy a home, and they have second thoughts about maybe having kids because of the financial burden. If more companies would follow the lead of Dan Price, I think more people would be able to live successful lives and companies would do even better because when you show your employees that they matter and you treat them with respect and you give them enough money to make a living wage, then all of your nurturing will bring your company success. And I think the companies that follow in Dan's footsteps can do a lot more for the people that they rely on to get the job done successfully. Those are your employees and those are the backbone of your company. If you enjoyed the podcast, if it's made you think about a few things, please give us a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And as always, we'll see you next time on Shine 365.